Hello, Cancer 2021. This is me, Outdoor Healing 1111. Thank you guys for watching my channel. Thank you for stopping by. I wish you all the abundance of prosperity. Money is in your chart this month. Uh, money was in your chart last month. It's actually just coming to fruition, right? You've planted the seeds. You're working towards the 2021 outcome that you waited to see these things to transpire. There's been some setbacks, but we're moving forward in river movement. It's flow, right? Never stops, continuously grows. You've done the work, so it's definitely going to, the sun's coming out. Um, I see trips here on the horizon for you for hard work. I've also pulled a previous Oracle card. We're all mad here. Everyone is a little different. So partnerships and community property. Everybody's expectation in love is different. Everybody's expectation in business. What's your expectations of coworkers may be different in what you're actually telling them or maybe they're getting the wrong vibe. But I'm saying communication really needs to be worked on in this month. We are all mad here. So every part of this element needs some healing and help. We're gonna ring the bowl. I'm gonna count back from five. Take a deep breath in. Take a deep breath out. Take a deep breath in. Take a deep breath out. We have five. We have four. We have three. We have two. We have one. Spirits and guides clear and cleanse. Let's give us a good reading for cancer. May they become abundant in 2021. May earth energy be upon them. They've done grounding. Now we're moving into fire. Fires where passion takes over. Fires where they've put all their hard work in a manifesting abundance. And now to sit back like the river and watch the flow of life go through them. Five, four, three, two, one. Breathe in. Breathe out. Thank you, Spirit, for being here on this journey. Sometimes the river of life does take a different toll for us. Help us manifest abundance. Help us keep us clear and cleansed. Um, these little things never stay up. I ordered new ones. Do apologize about the interference in your reading there, Cancer. So again, I'd like to thank you all for subscribing. I am accepting readings. I'm doing 12 month for 125 starting um, today. It's an hour to an hour and a half. We're moving forward, trying to find out a little bit more about what 2020 did to us, you know, what your ancestral traits are, maybe some past lives, money, finance, career, love, wherever your heart sends us to go on your life purpose. Let's get into the tarot real quick. Let's find out which direction cancer is moving to see if intuitively with the water uh, and your emotions moving towards fire, correct, starting a new cycle in your life. Clear and cleanse, Father God. I've cleared and cleansed the decks before my watchers came on. Please keep them safe and harbor no resentment here. May they work out their work atmosphere. May they communicate better and may their family and loved ones appreciate their hard work and take time for themselves. Twice, the fool in reverse. So we're sending out on a new journey. It's already begun. You've already planted the seeds on this journey. Where is cancer headed, spirit? Where is cancer headed? Past. Where is cancer headed? Past. Where's my past card? Where's my past card? Past. Come on, past. Come on, cancer. Come out. The wheel is in motion. Ten. Closing out the chapters of your life that no longer serve you. Uh, you've been rolling the dice for so long that nothing's come into fruition. It's coming now. Rest and be assured you're no longer in your headspace. Spirit is working through you. We have balancing out the scales. Temperance here. And I have the king of swords. That's Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Uh, your spirit guides are coming in with some guidance here. You're sitting back, watching things from a different perspective. They need you to take a better grasp on this. Divine has you. They are balancing out the scales spiritually and religiously, or financially and spiritually. And they want you to know that you are wise. All the decisions here with the owl that sits at the bottom have manifested your abundance. Um, maybe you're having some problems with your leg. Maybe you're having some problems with your ankle. But you're a watcher. That's what the L does. They're wise from all their years of experience. The bat comes in, which is abundance. And you have the sword here, which it looks like you started to cut some things out. You still have a life lesson to go. And divinity. Someone is wrapped around you and won't let you go no matter which way you go. And we also have back here the dragonfly. Um, that's a lot of spirit guidance here in this card. Out in the wilderness, maybe you climb mountains or go hiking for peaceful thought and time and process. Um, but you're really balancing out your uncertainty about your work situation. But you have manifested abundance. It is moving forward. And for the future here. And the past, present, and the future. Hierophant, seeking your religious guidance. Seeking someone of 
a mentor, someone who has given you good advice. You have two fives. It's uncertainty. You do not know where the... There's three fives. Four and one is five. Five and five. Uh, it's balancing out spirit, mind, and body. And then comes in a celebration. You know, you're in your head instead of your heart. Um, you know, maybe the person that you walked away from is moving forward and celebrating some success in their life and it's making you feel incomplete. But they're wondering. They sit by, maybe also a water sign, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, wondering about the cup that they filled in and then all of a sudden it kind of just washed away. It built some sort of foundation. This is the seed, right? And the entrance is open. So the opportunity is there. But you're kind of nowhere in sight in this card. Or this is you looking back on someone you walked away from. You did put into their cup. They spilled it out. But, you know, you have one sitting behind you. One that either got away or one that's coming in. And that, I mean, you're working on money. You're a lot of uncertainty all the way around. Money and love. Ooh, Queen of Pentacles. You're sitting pretty. Oh, sitting pretty in money. Spirit has got your back. Red is the color. That's a fire sign. You're working on your solar plex. You're working on your root plex. You're feeling the abundance coming in. You're feeling protected. You're feeling guided. You're feeling safety and security. That's what masculine energies do. But I'm feeling a Scorpio woman here. Very uncertain about what her love life, you know. They are financially set, but um, emotionally they're kind of really, really sad. This person is really, really sad. Everybody look into the past here. Cancers are really looking back and reevaluating their life. And you need the strength here. Wearing two masks. Work and love. The beast and the lamb. Counterbalance. Balancing each other out. The yin and the yang. The infinity symbol. You're wearing your heart. And you want to find it, right? The one. You're still looking for the one. They come masked as well. They come with hiding some things, but very spiritually balanced. Yep. Ace of Cups. Brand new beginning in love. Cancer. So as work starts to prosper... You have someone that comes in or has already come in offering you a brand new opportunity of love and they don't just want you because you're physically attractive. Cancers are very strong uh, mentally, physically, and financially and, and their looks are strong, very dominant, very, you know, work out, they're healthy, they eat healthy, uh, but they're busy, busy, busy and they don't stop for the opportunity and I think that they miss this opportunity here. Action again, all my water signs, action, take action. Stop sitting back. If you want it, go get it. I have a lot of purple here. Purple is I see. Your third eye chakra is opening up. You're calm. You're being encouraged spiritually to move on. Spirit's saying pick another card here, which we normally don't do for these cards. But action is something that my cancers really need to work on here. It's good to do uncomfortable things. It's weight training for life. So you weight train at the gym, possibly, if this is female or masculine. A uh, very strong divine masculine energy. It's masculine, not feminine. It's the strong side of things, not the softer side. But it's saying here, in order to have an equal balance, Cancer, you need to be stronger in your calming, in your lamb side. It's letting people in, letting them see you're the softer side, letting them see that you're the gentle giant, right? Training for life is an equal balance, give and take. It's weirder than all the other signs I had today. I haven't gotten no one else on that. What would you like to say to this missed opportunity, Cancer? Missed opportunity. What would you like to say to your missed opportunity? Cancer, show me, show me, show me. What would you like to say? Your dreams can come true if you have the courage to pursue them, right? So that's taking action. Taking your action. And training for life in all elements of your life, right? All elements. Action requires some movement. Moving is definitely something we need to work on for cancers this month. Movement and work, you have no problem with. But movement and love, shit, it could fall right un underneath you and you would walk right away. You love to be in charge, so spirit is saying, break the ego. This person got in, but you let them go. And where does the power come from? Exactly. It comes from within. Cancer, you're the dragon that's getting ready to be released. With this person powerfully on your side, the river and movement of life flows fluently. It flows calmly. You make the creation of your own life more dramatic than it needs to be. But it's, it's like chaotic chaos by yourself. You know, you don't interfere anyone else in your chaos. You kind of shun the world away. Okay, show me some love and romance here for my cancers. What's going on with the action here? This one wants to come out too. Final. Oh, okay, we got four. Spirit says your children are a big factor in this. Your love life is being affected by children. You use your children as a crutch. 
You don't believe it, but you do deserve to be loved. You are lovable. And someone's shooting their arrow at you. Someone picked you. They shot their arrow and you walked away. Waiting for. Worth waiting for. They said you were worth waiting for and they're worth waiting for. Divine timing as at work in your love life. Work in love life for you. And it's time for you to go back and tell them how you honestly feel. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. This is the new moon. Uh, 29 and 30 for cancer. It's time for you to honestly have that conversation with someone that you really care about them. They have your heart. And you see it now. Chew it, shit. Don't get any better than that for you here. And let's see if there's any more. Or, oh, well, there is. We got a jumper right away. Two of them. We have the Milky Way, which is your perspective of this person and the way that you handle business. And new beginnings. It doesn't get much better than that. Like I said, in the eye of the storm, you change your perspective. In the middle of your work going crazy, a new day is dawned. New beginnings, new life, river, movement, and flow. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that, Cancer. The new beginnings are coming. Stop using your children as a crutch. Have this heart-to-heart -heart conversation with the person that you honestly believe is for the first time, Cancer, which is hard for you, is an equal balance for you. Someone who financially steps in to help you in balance. Not to provide, but to love you exactly where you are. They bring their own value to the table in opposite ways of you. You work hard securely. You provide that. They're going to provide you spiritually and emotionally the things that you have been missing. This is a wonderful read for you, Cancer. Financially, 2021 is going to be fantastic. And if you take this fresh start and move ahead, you will get the love of a lifetime that you finally deserve after many, many times of being unhappy. This is your happy place, Cancer. So go out and find it. Go back and tell them how you feel. Well, Happy New Year. On my channel, we all shine like diamonds. Right now, you're a little dull. But there it is. There's your glow. It's coming back. You're a diamond, Cancer. This person is too. They are so worth it. Go tell them. Shout to the mountains. Tell them that you love them. Things are going to change around May and June for you. The love of your lifetime. Will they say yes? Let them in. Happy New Year. Outdoor Healing 1111. Thanks. Like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in 2021. Have a great day.